All right, so this here is a 2000 Saturn SL2. Uh, this here is the air conditioning uh, compressor. I'm getting two, uh, 14 volts to the clutch coil. And what happens is when you, when you get voltage to this, it engages the clutch. So that way you can spin the compressor. So right now, it won't engage. So what we have to do, we got to take the belt off. And I'm not going to remove my refrigerant hoses. I'm going to remove the compressor from this bracket. I got a couple bolts back here. Then I can angle the compressor up. I can pull this pulley off, replace the clutch coil, just the coil, and reassemble it and then mount it. I don't have to mess with the refrigerant or anything like that. But the tensioner pulley on this car is is way down in there so the way you have to get to it you got to take this tire off you got to jack it up take this tire off take that splash guard off in the back and then you can loosen you can remove the belt so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and loosen up the compressor and then i'll show you what's going on All right. okay so this is, you need a 15 millimeter inch wrench that your tensioner pulley there you loosen that up it'll give you slack on the belt then you pull the belt off and you pull off the belt sorry I got a text message um, I didn't want the belt to fall you know off all the other pulleys because it's, it's kind of a bitch to get in there so I just have it clipped to the side so now I took off uh, five bolts. So now I have the compressor loose. So I just have to pull it out. And now I can set it up there like that and I can work on it. You know, because the flexible hoses. So I'm going to take that screw off in the middle and then uh, open it up. I mean, it shouldn't take too long if everything goes smooth. But, uh, this here is the new. Let me show you the new. This is what the part looks like. This is your clutch coil. So what happens? This makes a strong magnetic field. It's basically like a big solenoid. Um, it makes a. This is a coil here. It makes a strong magnetic field, and then it sucks in this clutch. So we're gonna take it all apart and see how it goes. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> this here's your clutch. So when you, all right, there's a, well, this here's your clutch, and there's a spacer in there, and when you pull it off, you can't let it fall off. All right, then this is your pulley, all right, and this here's your clutch coil. So when this makes a magnetic field, it sucks in the clutch and it engages the pulley to start spinning and then it's going to spin the compressor see so uh, um, this here is the old clutch coil usually you want the ohm out around 3.8 4.0 ohms so this one's bad this here is a good one um, this here's our compressor see I since you have the flexible hoses you can pull it out so now I'm going to put this new clutch coil on. It goes on with three Phillips head screws right, right there. So once you put that on, then you're going to have to tap this pulley back on. Put the snap ring on, then put in your clutch coil and put the screw in and you know reassemble your you know put your compressor back in and check it out so i'll we'll put it back together and then we'll see how good it cools or whatever all right all right so basically we're all finished we got the compressor all bolted back in place so now the the pulley's spinning but also the clutch is spinning with it Good. The suction line sweating. 
Let's see if we can see a temperature reading. I got a thermometer in there. I don't know if you can see that through the glass. So the supplier is 43.8. So it looks like it's all good. So if you have a an AC issue with your car, you know, you want to check for it. This here requires 14 volts to come into the clutch coil. That's what energizes the coil and it sucks in the, the clutch. So that's that. So this one here doesn't have a low pressure switch. Sometimes if it's low on Freon, uh, the low pressure switch will keep it from running. But this one doesn't have that. So it was a pretty simple fix. Uh, this is for one of my AC customers. They asked me to look at their car. So I said, all right, I'll, you know, why not? I'll fix it. So, all right. Thanks for watching.